you can use ink or you can use acrylics to do your grisaille. This is one of the pictures that you can choose for the still life that's provided for you. Of course, you can paint whatever you like. And what I have done is I have done a sketch. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make some um, washes here. I have a, a cup of water and I'm just using this old wax paper to put out a little bit of my India ink. What I can do with my ink is I can water it down as you can see. And so I'm gonna start by just checking what my value is like and you can see that's a very light value. And what I want to do is I want to go ahead and start, it's counterintuitive, but I want to start with my darkest value. And then while it's still wet, bring it out. And to make it soft while it's still wet, I can come back in and here's some pure ink. And do you see what we're talking about here? This is called capillary action. And it is going to give me a soft gradation. And when I'm working with ink, what I wanna do is I wanna use the white of my paper. I don't need to buy white paint. I can just use the white of my paper just like you do with watercolor. Use the white of your paper for white. And see, while it's still wet, I can very easily blend that. This is called wet into wet. Now I need to put a little shading back here. So see, here I have a little bloom. Not to panic, I take a little paper towel and dab that dry before it keeps spreading. Okay. So now I just have to wait for this to dry and then we will watercolor on top of it using the values that were set down by the India ink as the base for all of our darks. Looks like I could get a little darker right in here before I quit on this particular piece. Okay. So this is using India or acrylic ink wash for precise. 